Welcome back, fam. Thanks for joining us. And we're just going to get right to it as always. And tonight's story is brought to us by CBW Chicago. The article we're going to talk about tonight is about how cops almost caught catalytic converter thieves twice overnight on the north side. So let's get into it. Patrol officers came upon the crew as they prepared to steal a catalytic converter from under a vehicle on Jarvis near Clark Street, near Rogers Park, around 2.25 a.m. The thieves scurried into a black SUV and sped from the scene when they realized the cops were approaching. But they left their jack at the scene. About 30 minutes later, a 911 caller reported that a group of men shopping for carjacks inside an auto parts store on the 2500 block of West Tui, and they thought it was suspicious. Police arrived at the store just in time to see a black SUV and a silver sedan speed away. Officers did not pursue the vehicles. Okay. Furthermore, according to the article, there was another call that came in that night. Cops in the town hall district responded to a call of a catalytic converter theft in progress around 4.30 a.m. on the 4400 block of North Maplewood in Lincoln Square. The officers arrived quickly enough to see at least two men stealing a catalytic converter from under Toyota Prius, right, according to the CPD report. Once again, the crew jumped in a waiting car, then drove off, police reported. And again, they left their jack behind. Uh, as of yet, there's been no arrest from Thursday of some time ago's capers, right? There's quite a few people who may have experienced something like this. How do we know that? Well, we can get that information directly from the CPD, where we get just a brief snapshot of what took place between December 7th of 2021 and January 3rd of 2022, in which there was over 30 different incidents at 30 different locations, right? All within a 30-day time period, all within 30 days. So it's safe to say that this is, that these catalytic converter thefts are fairly frequent in city life, okay? Yeah, being a Chicagoan myself, I can sympathize with this story and all the elements of it. Yeah, I was living right off of 75th in Michigan, and it happened to me, right? It happened to me. I, I can remember years ago waking up to the sound of sawing at 2 in the morning, and looking out my third floor apartment window to see some guy underneath my Chevy Cavalier. I screamed at him, ran and got whatever, Hustle downstairs, the guy was long gone. You know, you come outside, you're all pumped to go to work, wanna earn them doolers, and you start your car, and you, your car sounds like a go-kart. You look underneath and you're like, what the hell, man? Your pipes are just hanging. They done got your catalytic converter. Or, you know, for those of us, your, uh, your Cadillac converter, or maybe the, uh, the other muffler, you know, stuff like that. You know, it happens. So why is this so prevalent in city life? And why is it that the police can seem to do nothing about it? And that's what we're gonna focus on as this video's topic. Why does it happen and what can, <laughs> what can you do to stop it? All right. So the obvious question to get started with is what's a catalytic converter and what makes it popular amongst thieves? You know, the long and short of it, a catalytic converter is a catalyst in a tube in your exhaust system that sits in front of your muffler. What it does is it, it takes the exhaust gases into the converter, the catalytic converter, and the precious metals inside convert the gases to a less toxic form, right? To less toxic forms. So in a nutshell, it reduces harmful emissions through chemical reactions. So what's a precious metal? In a nutshell, precious metals are metals that are rare and have a high economic value. According to Investopedia, precious metals are a good portfolio diversifier and a hedge against inflation that can store their value, or at least their perceived value. Some of these metals would include gold, obviously, uh, silver, platinum, and even palladium, which are all commodities that can be added to your precious metals portfolio. So gold, uh, yeah, gold doesn't rust, and it's primarily known as a base for jewelry and a form of currency. When it comes to silver, even though the value fluctuates, it still has a role as a store of value. Yeah, and it's also an industrial metal. Platinum, pretty much the same as gold, right? But then we run into palladium. 
So palladium is a bit different from gold, silver, and platinum in quite a few ways. Not only is palladium used in jewelry, the largest industrial use for palladium is in catalytic converters because the metal serves as a great catalyst that speeds up chemical reactions. So now we're starting to form a picture, okay? And if we look at this chart here, we can see a comparison of value between these precious metals. We can see that gold uh, has plenty of value, right? Silver, practically zero. Platinum, yeah, but then palladium outshines them all in value. And if we just scroll through these charts, we can see how the value of these metals have changed over time. So now we're building a clearer picture as to why your catalytic converter is quite appealing to a would-be thief. There's plenty of precious metals in there, and given the right circumstances, there's nothing you can do to actually stop these guys. Chicago only has so many cops. In Illinois alone, a study from Statistica, as of 2016, there's over 4 million automobiles registered in the state of Illinois, with over 40,000 of them being publicly owned. So that's a lot of ground to cover. There's only about 12,000 cops in Chicago. And not all these cops, these cops, not all of them are on working it all at the same time. They just don't have the manpower. So what are these thieves using to get at your vehicle to snatch this thing up off your car? It's a, it's a very simple loadout, man. It's just a jack and a sawzall, right? A cordless reciprocating saw. A couple of pumps on the jack, 15 seconds of sawing, and they're off. Nothing you can do about it. By the time you realize that there's sound coming from outside and it might be your car, they're pretty much halfway done with the job. Oh man, you can go to AutoZone, get you a jack for a little under 60 bucks. Then you can go to Home Depot, get you a cordless reciprocating saw for a little under 200 bucks, and you're off to the races. So I, I guess the next thing that we should ask ourselves is, can it happen to you, right? <laughs> Could this be your lucky day, right? Can, <laughs> can you draw the short straw and suddenly your car becomes popular to thieves? Maybe, well, who knows, right? But there's some solace to be had in here, right? Like I said, there's over 4 million vehicles in Illinois, man. Some of them are commercial vehicles, some privately owned. Ain't everybody gonna get hit at the same time. Some vehicles are preferred more so than others, right? So which ones, right? If you're, like if the vehicle's an SUV, you know, something with high clearance, there's no need for a jack. The guy can literally just shimmy underneath, take the cat, and he's out of there. Nothing you can do about it. Now, the guy wastes no time pumping up half of your vehicle, you know, getting right to it. Nah, man. He could just pull up, slide underneath, zip, zip, and he's gone. He's gone, right? Yeah, I would imagine the next preferred target would be a low emission vehicle because of the nature of what the catalytic converter does. Yeah, it reduces pollutants. So if a vehicle is producing plenty of pollutants, then the catalyst, then the rare metals inside aren't gonna fetch a good price because they're gonna be more so depleted. So if that's the case, low emission vehicles, they're the next best thing. You could probably fetch a high dollar value for a Prius's catalytic converter than a Cavalier's, right? I mean, that, that would be a safe assumption because one is a low emission vehicle and the other is not, okay? But then again, there's so many vehicles, there's a chance you might just draw the short straw and there's nothing you can do about it. Or is there? I mean, there's choices all the time. We all got choices. One of the one of the first things you could do is, you know, just sell your car, man. Get on the bus. <laughs> get on the bus. Get on the bus if you're so scared that this could happen to you, right? You shouldn't live your life in fear. You know, another alternative, another solution would be to consider moving to a low crime area. There's always that, you know, or maybe even consider buying a house. A house that has a garage, right? If you can protect your vehicle, if you can store it someplace where it's you know relatively safe, why not? You wouldn't run into these sorts of issues. And catalytic converters aren't cheap. For a 2015 Malibu, that that thing can run somewhere. That thing can run almost 600 bucks. And for a Toyota Prius, and it's really pricey. I mean, that thing can. I think thousands, a thousand plus. A thousand plus duelers, man. You should think about that. There's ways to protect it. You could put a housing on there. You can, you know, put a cage on it. 
But what does that do to the resale value of your vehicle? You know, these things, they're not permanent. They're not going to last forever. The materials inside, they do become depleted. And the only way you're going to realize that, uh, that your cat's worn out is when you go get the emissions test, right? And they tell you that you fail. And you take it to a shop and the guy tells you, hey, man, your cat needs to be replaced. But I can't get to it because there's this metal bracket in place. We got to cut that off. So that's even going to cost more money in repairs. Yeah, there's prohibitive costs that go along with all this, right? With vehicle ownership. Ugh, man, that, that really took a turn south. I realize that after listening to this, after listening to my own recording, I realize that this is me giving you the playbook as to the mindset and mythology of still in catalytic converters. I mean, it, it doesn't take much to figure it out. If anyone ever thought about uh, reducing crime in Chicago, surely you would have to understand it in the first place, right? Yeah, on that note, uh, we're going to call it. And uh, thanks for joining us. You know, hopefully you learned a little bit more about the criminal mind yeah, through thought exploration. Um, if you like the content, please consider uh, donating. Maybe buy me a coffee. The link's in the description. Yeah, and if this has ever happened to you, someone stole your catalytic converter, uh, go ahead and share your story in the comment section. Because sharing is caring. All right. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.